Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. This video will help you learn more about variables. We're going to cover variable creation, variable syntax, and scoping, along with how to use them in your deployment process. Octopus supports variables so that your deployment processes and runbooks can be parameterized. This allows your application to work across your infrastructure without having to hard code or manually update configuration settings. Let's get started. From the Project Overview page, let's click on Variables to access the Variable Editor. This table stores the project variables for this deployment process. The Name column declares the variable name, which is how it's referenced throughout your deployment process. The Value column contains one or more values that you define for this particular variable. And lastly, you tell Octopus when to use the different values for that variable by defining scopes in the Scope column. Let's see how these pieces fit together. We'll add a new variable to this project by clicking on a new row and giving it a name, hello world.greeting. Now let's enter a value for this variable. Next, we're going to add a scope for this value to tell Octopus to use this greeting only when we're deploying to our development environment. When we deploy to our test environment, however, this greeting wouldn't make much sense. So let's go ahead and add another value to our greeting variable. We'll click on add another value, enter the greeting we want for test, and scope it to the test environment. Finally, let's add our production greeting, scope it, and then click Save. Now that we have our variable and different values defined, let's look at how to use it in our deployment process. We're going to use our greeting variable in this run a script step that has already been added to our deployment process. In the PowerShell script content section, we can see the variable insert tool on the right hand side. Clicking this will display your project variables along with other Octopus system variables. In this deployment, we want PowerShell to display our greeting. So we'll start by typing our command and then selecting our greeting variable from the variable insert tool. You can see that Octopus automatically inserts the variable into our script with the correct syntax. Let's save this step and deploy this project to our different environments. We'll deploy to our development environment first. In the task log, we can see that Octopus has displayed the variable value that we scoped earlier in this video. As we deploy to our other stages, we're seeing the correct corresponding values for each environment. Now it's your turn to create your first variable. Here's some recommendations to keep in mind as you do that in your own instance. Use descriptive variable names, not only so you know what a variable is used for, but also for when someone else looks at your deployment process so that they'll be able to understand it. Always namespace your variables. A variable named password is very generic, while a variable named sqlserver.admin.password is readily identifiable for debugging. And lastly, make sure to use variables when appropriate. Variables save time and enable flexibility in your deployment processes. Be sure to check out our other Getting Started videos, and thanks for watching. Happy deployments!